Once upon a time, there was a lion sleeping in the grass. A little mouse thought that the big yellow lion was a hill and began running up and down him. This woke the lion who caught the mouse with his giant paws. He opened his mouth to swallow him. Oh, king, please don't eat me, cried the mouse. If you let me go, I promise to help you someday. The lion laughed. He thought the idea of a mouse helping a lion was so funny. He let, let the mouse go. Later, as the lion walked through the woods, he was caught in a trap. The hunters wished to take him to their king, so they tied him to a tree and left to find a wagon. Just then, the little mouse ran by. He ran up to the, the sad lion and began to chew through the ropes. Soon the lion was free. Thank you, my friend, he said to the mouse. <coughs> Sometimes little friends can be big friends. The end. Once upon a time, there was a girl walking in the rain, and she found a castle. The queen told the girl she had to sleep on 300 mattresses. She was sleeping on the 300 mattresses, and there was a pepper at the bottom, and the queen put it there. The queen asked the girl if she if she felt anything and she was asleep. She said no. They got into a big fight. The prince wanted to marry the girl. The queen said she didn't feel she didn't feel it, so they couldn't. They finally decided they would get married and and the queen did not come to their wedding. There was a sheriff named Robin Hood. The previous sheriff, who was evil, escaped King Henry's jail. Robin Hood tracked him down. He started fighting Robin Hood sword to arrows. Robin Hood froze him with a special arrow that wouldn't hurt him. Then Robin Hood trapped him in a cage of arrows and defeated him. When Cinderella was in her grave, a voice told her the queen. She noticed it was the evil lady that told her the queen, so she started cleaning. Then, um, uh, uh, then she got a letter in the mail. The letter said, "Please come to the ball." She couldn't be, come, she couldn't go because she was busy. Then, poof! The fairy, uh, the fairy ghost mother gave her a gown. Then she went to the disco ball. She, she, um, she lost her shoe and she runs home. She can't find... The prince can't find her, so he runs home sobbing to his mummy.
Hansel and Gretel just got home, but they were very mad at their parents. Hansel and Gretel pushed their parents outside and said, Go get firewood, food, and blankets. Amy and Dave were walking for hours. Then they saw a gingerbread house. So they went in to get some food. As they were making a pie, they opened the oven and... The witch popped out! The witch tried to roast the parents, but she was so dumb that she put the fire under the cage and then the fire melted the cage. The parents the parent break out and defeat the witch by roasting her. Then they talk all the took all the food she had and she had and ran home. And they lived happily ever after. But the children were still mad at them. The end. One day, a girl was staring out a window because she was very bored. A witch tried to climb, a witch came and tried to climb her hair. But the girl cut her hair and the witch fell. She was very angry, so she stomped away. Then the prince came. He told her to come with him to the cast his castle. The witch came again, but the prince took her wand and turned her into a flower. Then he he gave the girl the flower, and then they lived happily ever after. Once upon a time, Cinderella wished she was a princess. Her fairy godmother turned her into a princess. She's on her way to the ball. She sees the prince. The prince liked her sister instead. The sister loves, the prince loves her glass and Cinderella's glass slipper runs home sad and unhappy. What? The prince accidentally Puts the slipper on Cinderella. The end. I'm kind of stumbling. Goldilocks, Goldilocks walks to the to Bear's house to steal stuff. Steals porridge. Steals bed. Steals chair. Walks back to house. Goldie, Goldie walks goes back to Bear's house. Three bears saw Goldie walks steal, stealing stuff. Three bears chase Goldie walks. Three bears are getting closer. Three bears catch her and throw her out the back door. Once upon a time, there was a queen who had a daughter. 
She took her to a tower to be safe. Over time, her hair got longer. Whenever she sang, her hair turned gold. One day, the evil prince who worked for his mommy, the witch, captured Rapunzel. Rapunzel thought he was so handsome in his underwear, which was the only thing he ever wore. Rapunzel married him with her underwear. After that, they kissed each other on their underwear. The end. I have no name. Until you name me. I have no form. Until you shape me. I don't exist. Until you make me. I am creativity. I'm waiting deep inside you. Touch my spark. <laughs> and let me light you. Give me life. And I'll revive you. I am creativity. <laughs> 